नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सी यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ नाइनटीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो इफ बी सी स्टडीज रियलाइज रेनफॉल अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ लो प्रेशर एरिया वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर छत्तीसगढ़ एंड ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश इन एडिशन टू दिस सिक्किम ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड वेरी हेवी रेनफॉल एंड हैवी रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर आसाम मेघालय नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोरम त्रिपुरा उड़ीसा विदर्भा तेलंगाना ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड डेली एंड हैवी रेनफॉल ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड ओवर कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड अंडमान निकोबार आईलैंड्स ए बी सी द सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट इन सब वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम दिस झालोंग रिपोर्टेड सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर इन ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश जबलपुर एंड छिंदवाड़ा रिपोर्टेड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर इन छत्तीसगढ़ बिलासपुर एंड बीजापुर डिस्ट्रिक्स रिपोर्टेड ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर इन तेलंगाना मुलुगु डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्टेड इलेवन सेंटीमीटर इन आसाम मेघालय लखीपुर रिपोर्टेड इलेवन सेंटीमीटर इन उड़ीसा सुपिंडा इन जाजपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्टेड टेन सेंटीमीटर डेली ऑल्सो एज ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन मॉर्निंग वीडियो दिस डेली स्पेशली साउथ वेस्ट डेली ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड हैवी रेनफॉल इन मॉर्निंग टूडे द सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट रिपोर्टेड ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ टेन सेंटीमीटर इन साउथ वेस्ट डेली सो अकॉर्डिंगली अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ शिफ्टिंग ऑफ मानसून ट्रफ सम साउथ वार्ड्स एंड ऑल्सो द परसिस्टेंस ऑफ लो प्रेस एरिया एंड इट्स रिमिनेंट मूवमेंट टूवर्ड्स ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ एम पी Uh, we are mentioning these uh, four highlights first highlight is that heavy rainfall activity likely over uh, madhya pradesh and vidarbha on today and tomorrow so this is because of low pressure system and second point is that heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over western mal region during next 3 4 days and adjoining plains including punjab and haryana during the next 24 hours and subdued rainfall activity likely to continue over south peninsular india and also gujarat during next 4 5 days and increase is expected in rainfall activity over eastern parts of uh, india and also northeastern states uh, uh, from 21st of august so these are the some highlights and this increase is, is expected because of shifting of eastern uh, part of monsoon trough uh, northwards from 21st so these are the four highlights now If you see that today's synoptic conditions, you will see that the today monsoon trough runs roughly along the normal position and starting from Ganga Nagar and uh, passes through Narnaul, Dhatia, Satna, center of low pressure area over North Chhattisgarh and adjoining areas, and uh, through Odisha and then goes to northeast of Bengal. And today, we uh, morning we see uh, one cyclone circulation over North West Madhya Pradesh and also over uh, central part of uh, Pakistan. today western disturbance seen over north pakistan as a trough what we have mentioned here so this is the western disturbance so under the influence of these synoptic systems cloudiness conditions are visible over uh, madhya pradesh vidarbha northern parts of maharashtra telangana and also over haryana and adjoining areas of himachal pradesh and uttarakhand and uh, some activity are uh, also is visible over coastal andhra pradesh and northeastern states so these are the cloudiness condition under the influence of these synoptic systems and other favorable conditions you can see that there are two major zones of rainfall today one is the madhya pradesh vidarbha and northern parts of maharashtra and second is the uttarakhand himachal pradesh and uh, punjab and haryana so these are two major uh, Uh, zones today for here heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected otherwise heavy rainfall is expected over western parts of uttar pradesh chatisgarh telangana uh, madhya maharashtra marathwada goa coastal andhra pradesh coastal karnataka and also heavy rainfall activity likely over northeastern states including arunachal pradesh assam meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura and uh, sub island west bengal sikkim so these are the day one warning and we will discuss in detail about the Uh, some of the uh, states uh, where heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected in vidarbha region of maharashtra nagpur and chandpur likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall today and uh, these uh, vardha amravati and uh, gondia and gad chiroli district likely to receive uh, heavy rainfall during next 24 hours and this map is for uh, chatisgarh region you can see that the uh, districts uh, adjoining of eastern parts of madhya pradesh including kabirdham rajnand gaon Uh, and adjoining areas likely to experience uh, heavy rainfall today and accordingly these adjoining regions likely to experience uh, light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm activity during next 24 hours over chatisgarh this map is of uh, madhya pradesh 
so the southern parts of uh, madhya pradesh likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall and central parts of madhya pradesh and also parts of uh, this north madhya pradesh likely to experience heavy rainfall otherwise uh, in uh, many many uh, in this districts like to moderate rainfall is expected over madhya pradesh heavy to very heavy rainfall districts including uh, this uh, khandwa devas harda and uh, narmada puram betul chindwara suni so chindwara suni etc this southern parts of districts including uh, these uh, harda devas etc like to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall now we will discuss the map of himachal pradesh so you will see that uh, during next three days the southern parts of himachal pradesh likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall and uh, the, thereafter this uh, southern parts of himachal pradesh likely to experience uh, light to moderate rainfall activity so significant rainfall likely to experience during next three days and thereafter uh, from day four there is a possibility of reduction in rainfall over himachal pradesh now if we see the map of uttarakhand you will see that today dehradun and nainital uh, districts likely to experience isolated activity of heavy rainfall otherwise uh, during next two days these excluding these districts including uh, dehradun and nainital most of the districts likely to experience uh, light to moderate rainfall during next two days thereafter the activity will increase and uh, the southern uh, parts of uh, uttarakhand including dehradun pauri nainital champavat and bagesh are likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall and haridwar tehri chamoli pithoragarh likely to experience heavy rainfall the same activity like to continue on day 3 and day 4 from day 5 there is a possibility of reduction in rainfall however dehradun and nainital like to experience heavy rainfall so significant rainfall activity like to experience from day 3 and day 4 over uttarakhand now if we see the map of day 2 you can, will see that the under the remnant of the low pressure or cyclonic circulation this madhya pradesh and vidarbha likely to continue to receive heavy rainfall at isolated pockets and this himachal pradesh uttarakhand already mentioned that uh, there is a there is a uh, significant activity uh, during uh, 20th of august also and northeastern states states and that zone areas of sikkim and sub himalayan west bengal sikkim likely to experience uh, heavy rainfall and if you see the map of day 3 more or less same activity likely to continue over madhya pradesh and uh, over northeastern states sikkim and himachal pradesh and uttarakhand and if you see the map of day 4 this activity over northeastern states and adjoining east india likely to experience increase in rainfall activity accordingly orange color is given uh, for day 4 that is valid for 22nd august that is over arunachal pradesh and assam meghalaya otherwise heavy rainfall Uh, Likely to experience over Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, sub Himalayan, West Bengal, and Sikkim, Bihar, and Jharkhand. In central parts of the country, Madhya Pradesh, in northwest India, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand, likely to experience heavy rainfall on day four. If we see the map of day four, day five, you will see that the activity of uh, this uh, northeast India likely to continue, and also over east Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, and also Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, likely to experience heavy rainfall on twenty third. So these are the Uh, weather warnings for next five days. Accordingly, uh, for if we see the flash flood guidance, you will see that uh, uh, some of the pockets of Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh likely to experience uh, uh, the activity of isolated uh, level over Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, especially over Champavat, Nainital, Pauri Garhwal, and uh, here in Sirmore district in Himachal Pradesh also likely to experience uh, flash flood uh, uh, activity. Now. so under the influence of this heavy rainfall activity this eastern parts of madhya pradesh vidarbha and western parts of madhya pradesh some of the pockets including uh, sehor devas indore regions and also in nangpur region in vidarbha are likely to experience uh, flash flood uh, uh, conditions so these are the flash flood guidance now on daily basis we are mentioning the impact of heavy rainfall because of uh, because of heavy rainfall there is a possibility of localized flooding and uh, occasional reduction in visibility and then uh, disruption in traffic uh, especially in uh, urban areas and then minor damage to kachcha roads and uh, possibility of damage to vernal structures and uh, localized landslides mudslides especially in hilly areas and also damage to horticulture and standing crops is expected so uh, accordingly you can uh, visit uh, for the 
uh, flood uh, related information to central water commissions and uh, suggestions are on daily basis we are mentioning that check the traffic uh, advisories any special advisories for rainfall uh, is good by state government central government and other government agencies so for more detail you can visit our website mausam.imd.gov.in and also our facebook and twitter pages for uh, updated information so this is all about today we will assemble again tomorrow morning for the updated information till then namaskar jai hind jai bharat Thank you.